video, we are going to be taking a look at my March blanket challenge. Now, if you didn't know, I decided for the month of March, I was going to be making at least one traditional sized blanket set every single day for the entire month of March. It didn't have to be a specific color, pattern, style. It could be whatever I wanted it to be, but it had to have at least to have been a traditional sized blanket set. And then after that, I could go and like make other ones if I really felt the need to. For the entire month of March, I ended up making 50 one blanket sets if I counted correctly. I don't know, math is hard. Astro is just here to model what I'm talking about before we actually get into looking at all of them. Now, I was going to do it kind of where I did a little video every single day of me just throughout the process and I got a few of those. All right, who would like to be the very first helper for the March blanket challenge? I am taking some volunteers. Anybody want to volunteer? All right, I guess I'll have to pick, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, you, Sith. What would you like to wear, dude? I'm thinking like maybe a diagonal pattern. I don't even know. Is anything speaking to you? I know there are quite a few options. Personally, and this is just me personally, I think you'd look very nice in that mint over there. All right, let's get the show on the road. Oh my gosh, y'all. So the very first blanket is done. I just gotta iron on the little infinity since I do brand all of my blankies. And then I gotta make the halter and lead rope and the very first set will be done! Alright, so the very first blanket set for my March blanket challenge has been completed. Oh, it's so cute! Good job, Sith. Thank you for helping. Alright, he's just gonna go back on the shelf and somebody new will be picked for tomorrow! Didn't really work out. I made it to day two and then I gave up on that because I wasn't really quite sure how it was gonna work and then some days, I think it was day three, I literally did not have time to film a little video, so after that I just gave up. That went really well, as you can tell, but the blanket challenge itself went so well. I am absolutely shocked. I did not think I was gonna be able to make this many blankets, so without any further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and check out all the blankies I made. All right, so here is just a quick little overview of all of the blankies I made. Two of the blankets that I made for the month of March actually did not make it into this video because they were commissions, so I'll just go ahead and show y'all their photos right now. They were so cute. I just didn't want their owners to have to wait for the blankies to arrive to them, so I already shipped them out, but all of these blankies are in this video, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look. We're gonna go ahead and start up up here. So right here we've got Lakota modeling a very, very cute orange and black blankie. And then next to him is South wearing her beautiful coral and gray. Here is, I literally forgot your name, that's upsetting. But this is the mold that the celebration horse is on and I decided to make a blanket for her. So I went with a white quilted look with a rainbow outline and a rainbow halter. And then here we've got Alamo wearing the cutest blue plaid blinky ever. I literally love that fabric so much. And then in the front, I've got Chubbs wearing this super cute little flamingo blinky. Down on the shelf, right below them, here is Obi-Wan wearing a gray and white plaid with a red bottom and straps. Here we have, I don't think I've ever actually named this fall, but she is wearing her frog blinky. This was the very last blanket I made for the the month of March and it was my oops all pink or I'm debating between that or the ballerina set and Nabu was doing the best job modeling that. And then right next to the very last blanket is actually the very first blanket I made which is being modeled by Sith. A gorgeous quilted mint green with white outlining and a matching halter. And then these are two of my favorite little stable mate blankets. I've got this super cute little sailboat one and then just a classy green plaid. Coming on to this shelf, I've got Syrup in a little cactus print blanket. Here we have Epona modeling purple. I chose to do purple for her because she wears purple in the Among Us videos, so I thought she'd be a pretty good purple model. Here we have Darth Maul wearing a Star Wars blanket. I thought that'd be very fitting. And then next to him is Toast wearing his little dinosaur constellation blanket and a bedazzled halter. Ooh. And then the smallest blanket for the month was this tiny little, what is this, cob, Welsh pony thingy. 
The last shelf over here is going to be this one, and right here, I've got Han Solo modeling a dark side Star Wars blanket. A little quarter horse like bean wearing a chicken blanket. I thought this fabric was just so cute, I couldn't pass it up. Here we have Kylo Ren wearing a gray dragon and orange outline blanket. And then next to him, I've got Benelli, who does need a new name, wearing a forest green and navy blue outline. So that is that section. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the Marin Full sets. Here we have Padme and Skywalker wearing a neon plaid matching Marin Full set. Down here is the second blanket set I made for the month of March. This is Jen and Ewok wearing a gray with a pink outline. Down here we've got another mint green and white blanket set, but this time it is a Marin Full set with the horizontal quilting. I didn't really want to use the same color on any blankets, but I totally forgot that I made Sith's blanket and they ended up with the same color, but that's okay because if you got bought the two of them, it could be a whole family of matching beans. And then the very last Marin Full set is modeled by Zelda and Shadow and it is a blue outer space blanket with a gray outline and both of them have bedazzles on their little halter nose bands. From the Marin Full sets, we're gonna go ahead and work our way to the very last column. Up here, we've got Tucker modeling a yellow quilted blanket with a white outline. Now, I'm not normally a fan of yellow, but this one turned out so cute. Next to Tucker, I've got Butter wearing my Cinco de Dino blankie set. And it is dinosaur tacos with avocados and hot sauce. I was so excited when I found this fabric at Joann's. I just had to turn it into a blanket. Here we've got Eros wearing a brown plaid blanket with a lime green outline. And then over here, I got Pepto Boon Small wearing a rainbow explosion cooler with a matching rainbow halter. And then in the front is this super cute little stable mate gray tie-dye blanket, which is actually quilted. This is my very first stable mate blanket to do a diamond quilt on, and it turned out so cute. Moving on down here. Here we have Gandalf, and his mold is actually a special run for Briarfest this year so I just had to do this one because the theme is horse of a different color so I decided to go with a rainbow theme with the white bottom and white straps so this blanket set will fit perfectly onto Surat. I don't know how to pronounce that but I just had to make it. Look how cute he is in it. Right here is my Lady Faze who is also my favorite horse to use for making blankets. Now Catcher's blanket in real life is maroon with a black outline so I had to make it in bean form. Right here I've got Donut wearing a super cool Captain America cooler set. Right here I've got Twix and this blanket set is actually a lot of people's favorites on Instagram. It is the Zodiac Constellations with a matching bedazzled halter. And then right here I've got a little Schlakefall blanket which is brown plaid with a brown outline. Moving on down here. This is Chewbacca and I really get some Fire Nation vibes from this one. It is a black plaid with a maroon outline. Another rainbow blankie because you can never have too many rainbow things. Here is another one of my absolute favorites. This is modeled by Astro and it is a sparkly outer space blanket set which is two-toned and it's pleated so it's got navy blue on the bottom and the sparkly outer space fabric up top. Next to Astro we've got his best friend Nuck Tuck wearing a adorable little pink llama cooler with a navy blue outline. And then the last one on the shelf is Truffles. Now a little story about Truffles blanket is this is the only blanket that gave me literally the hardest time to make. Out of 51 blankets, this blanket did not want to be made. I actually could not be happier with how that one turned out with how much it was fighting me. We're on to the last shelf. Another special run for Briarfest is on this mold. Now, I don't remember that guy's name. Uffington, I believe. So I decided to go for a green plaid cooler with a matching green and white halter just because he is a Cremello. So I thought this color would actually complement him really, really well. Right here, I've got Mako. And if you don't know, Mako is a firebender from Legends of Korra. So I had to go with my red foil dragon fabric and pair it with a black outline and it turned out so cute. Over 
over here we've got Bumper wearing the cutest little dinosaur cooler ever. And then the very last blanket for this video is this tiny little green and black Luck of the Irish Peter Stone chip blanket with a four leaf clover on the side and the infinity symbol and then the other side also has a four leaf clover. Y'all this is literally just insane to look at. I have never had this many blankets on my horses at one time and it is glorious! All right, y'all, so those are all of the blankets that I made during my March challenge. Now, in the comment section down below, comment which blanket is your favorite because I kinda wanna know. What style do you like? Do you like the cooler, the diamond, the horizontal, or the pleated two-toned one? Honestly, you're probably thinking, Infinity, who in their right mind takes on a blanket-making challenge for the whole month of March? And not only that, but who makes 51 blankets? A weirdo? The reason behind me doing this blanket challenge was, oh, I'm so excited to tell y'all, I have been accepted into the Briarfest virtual marketplace vendors. That means that my website will be on Briar's Briarfest little vendor marketplace page. Y'all can get to my website through Briar's website as Briarfest is happening. Now, I wanted to be able to have stock during all of Briarfest, and if you don't know how my restocks normally go, is I put items up and then they normally sell out with in an hour so it does make it a little hard to keep things on my website 24 7 i'm not complaining though i love that y'all loaf my tag. But for Briarfest, I really want to make sure that I've got a ton of stuff so that if people come that don't follow me on like Instagram or YouTube and don't know about my website, they can come and have a chance at grabbing some tag for their beats. So that's why I'm already making so many things. All of the blankets in today's YouTube video are going to be for sale during the Briarfest weekend. So these are going into storage. Y'all won't be seeing these for a while until it is the Briarfest weekend. So if you saw one that you really, really want, be sure to check out my website during Briarfest because everything including all of the halters and everything that I made for the month of March will be going live during the Briarfest weekend and there will be so many things that haven't even been made yet like bareback sets, saddle pads, more blankets, even more halters. Like I am so excited. This will be my biggest restock yet and I cannot thank Briar enough for picking me to be in the vendor marketplace. I am so excited. All right y'all, so that should be the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a slap that like button to show this YouTube video all of my heckin' hard work to make 51 blankies. What the heck, man? A little bit of loaf. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore priors. I post on there daily, and I'm super active on there. Also, you'll see photos of these blankies pop up here and there on Instagram, so look out for that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. I will drop the link to my website down in the description down below so y'all can go sign up for my emailing list. I have a restock on Saturday, April 3rd at 3 p.m. Central Time. There won't be that many things available just because I spent all of my time and effort working on my Blinky Challenge. So there won't be that many things available, but there will be a sticker sale. So follow me on Instagram and also just kind of check out my YouTube community page Saturday for more details on that. That will be in the description down below though. The link will. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! We rise up from